so I've got three rods in there that we use. I haven't got no bait classes or anything. Righto, we've just pulled up on Kinchin Dam, the Sarvo. We've got a few hours of an Arvo, some overcast weather. We're gonna go for a look around for some barra. Uh, we'll be out here for a full day tomorrow, but uh, I've got the new 24 Sur tape on with me today, and uh, pretty keen to give that a run. I haven't seen it yet, so pretty excited. First little outfit of the trip that I'll be using. Uh, I've got the new 5000 Surtate. Uh, I've got the one on one of the new 23 Commanders. This one's the Hellcat. I'm going to pop some of the leaders off this, put on a 60 pound uh, Saltiga X Link. Uh, that'll be plenty for these fish in this dam. Uh, so we'll get to it. Uh, I like to go FG, just one of the better knots, stronger knots out there. They run through the guides pretty well, especially when using these heavier, leader, heavier leaders. Um, helps with the casting distance as well, not getting caught up with the guides. Righto, second combo we're gonna run. Uh, 23 Commander, this one's seven foot. I like the bit shorter one. I'm gonna run jerk baits, double clutches, EXDRs. Maybe some current masters if they don't like that bigger profile. Matched up, 4,000 Sir Tate. I'm gonna change the leader on this one as well. I'm gonna run a 50 pound on this one. And um, then we're ready to go. We'll go find some fish, cruise around. Right. We're just cruising around the base and chasing some suspended fish. I've got the um, double clutch EXDR here, runs around 10, 12 foot. Um, we're, using, we're using live, just cruising around until we spot some fish. We're gonna try to find a little congested area that's got some bait in it, got some fish moving around, working it. Um, and then we'll put some, put some lures in front of their face and hopefully hook up. Put one down there. That one was a bit low. We're gonna head shallow with this overcast weather. Throw some top water, some frogs, and try find one up in the shallows if we can't find them out here in the suspended deep water. No luck um, chasing them on the live in a basin. So we're gonna just pack him up, we're gonna shoot up shallow, go hit some points with some top water, some frogs, uh, some pencils, and try to draw one up like that. Get one on surface. I'm gonna try a frog first up. Um, go super shallow, try to see if they're right up there in the weed. I'll start off with uh, pearl. White pearl. This is a kicker curly big. We're gonna. I got a 4.0 weightless EWG there. When I rig them, I like to rig them instead of going straight through the nose. I go a little bit under the chin. Go through under the chin. Poke them down like that, and then measuring up like so. I go under the chin. When it hits the water, by going under the chin like that, you're kicking, a, you're kicking that nose up, just getting them moving straight away. Instead of going straight out the nose, you might pull them down up on the angle like that, coming through under that chin there. It just makes it easier to pop them out of the water at the start of your retrieve. You don't have to give the rod tip a little flick or anything like that. Just something I like to do with them. So we'll launch this one up in some shallows. Just cruising this grassy edge here. Long cast, the longer you can with your frogs, the better. Just keep an eye, make sure it's swimming on top as soon as it lands. And I'm watching the lure, keeping eyes on the lure most of the time. I'm just giving it a slow roll. The legs will do the rest. Don't always take a lot of um, action to get these things moving, but by paying attention, keeping an eye on your frog, you can see if there's a fish behind it. If there's a fish behind it, you might be able to just stop it where it is. Maybe a couple little twitches, just trying to entice the entice the bite. But when I'm when I'm fishing these edges, all I'm doing is I'm just sort of power fishing them, just cast as close as I can, 
and just starting my retrieve. Just keeping an eye around my surroundings and that. Trying to spot some fish. Kill the electric. It's on that white pearl frog. It's not a big fish by any means, but it's a um, good chunk to start us off. After coming shallow, after trying to get one on the jerk bait out deep, come in. White pearl, big kicker curly. Not a massive fish, but it's a pretty healthy little one for the shallows. And um, for me, first fish on the new surtape. There's a little chunk, eh? I'm happy with that. And drag sounds amazing. Nice and smooth. Let's try to put it to the test on a bigger one. And stuff. Right, that last one we just got, he come from some super shallow water. It was only a foot and a half to the top of the weed there. So I'd say that fish, he was cruising around, um, not so much stationary. We've just come into a bit of a deeper section. So I'm just going to speed things up, poke right up into this bay where things start to flatten off and we've got a bit more of a flat. Um, try and find a few more fish that are actually cruising around rather than trying to hit some stationary fish. Um, Hopefully they're up in the shallows there trying to feed. It's uh, no upgrade from the, um, the last one. But it's a um, it's another one on frog. <laughs> Definitely no records here, <laughs> but it's number two nonetheless. We're just about to wrap up the day. It's a good few little hours on the dam of Savo. We only got out here at 4.30, um, 6.30 now. Uh, we've seen what we need to see, tried some basin fish, tried catching them on jerk bait. Uh, found a couple of fish, few of them had a little bit of interest, couldn't get them to uh, commit. Come up shallow and we found a few fish up in shallow. Got them two, two smaller fish, we missed, missed a big one. Uh, and seen a few more fish up shallow for the little time that we spent up here. So we're back at it again tomorrow morning on the dam, starting early, uh, nice and nice and early. And we'll probably come and start with some top water stuff as well, similar to what we're doing now. Found a few little likely spots that we can poke into and find some fish, which will be good. Um, hopefully we can connect to a few bigger ones as well, which would be nice. But it's always a good time with the new Take. Looks, good. Looks good. I think we've got it like this until eight, nine o'clock. And then that southerly change comes through, which I don't know if I'm worried about it yet or whether or not it might be a good thing.
come out to the uh, middle of the dam at the moment. We're just going to go try and find some bait schools, try and find some um, fish that's sitting on them. I'm going to go to a jerk bait now, cut the frog off. I'm going to stick with what? One of the new ones, the 115 EXDR. This one's in house it. You know, we've got a bit of sun out, chuck something on with a bit of reflection. Try and see if I can get them to bite, if not. Might change up colours, might even downsize to the current master if they're being picky. Well, it's taken us a while. They've played the game on us this morning and it's not a big not another big fish by any means but it's a little fella nonetheless. Took us a while. We ended up getting one. Switched to the back to the shallow 115. Went to a bit more natural colour. That one there is whiting, just for what we were chasing. I was trying a few reflectives and some fluoros, but um, ended up being the natural to get it done. We've just got a bit of a rain swell coming in. Might have been what got him to eat. Uh, we'll get him back. It's another one on the surtate nonetheless, so it's always good fun. Let's go, let's go again. Things got a little wet there for a bit. But she's glassed off again now. Hopefully put them in a good mood. All right, master. Oh, making us work. It's little tanks, eh? The ones that we have caught. That one there. I've had the southerly come through. Uh, she's pretty, pretty blowy now. We we're about to pull it quits and go for lunch, but um, seeing a few rolling through. Current master DR just in um, whiting. That's been, that's been the colour today so far. Right. Had a couple rain swells come through, then she's just sort of settled out, that southerly's kicked in. Uh, we're just gonna give it another 10 minutes this, just try to find something. We're gonna come back out to Savo after some lunch. Might poke up before we head, head back and pull up the ramp, just head in shallow, see if I can find some fish up in there. If not, we'll pull off and reassess and come back with Savo and give it a good nudge.
So we've just done battle with the winds out there. Um, just getting too hard to fish. It's pretty ugly out in the dam. Um, so we've just come up into some... <laughs> we've just come up into some shallow bays hoping to get one on top water and we've just done it. So hopefully it's the start of finding a few fish. <laughs> and we'll um, take this as a win. There we go. Let's keep going. We just pulled up here, gonna have a few cuffs in this little bay. After this, this will wrap up Kinchant. Uh, we're gonna be back into it tomorrow. We're gonna go hit Timbra, keep the barra tour rolling, and um, try to sting a few up there. So we'll see you there tomorrow morning, bright and early. Morning guys, uh, we've just put up at Timbra, another early start for us this morning, uh, shooting up from Mackay. This dam's a bit further up the valley uh, to what Kinchant was, so um, it's not a dam I'm overly familiar with. I've only fished it two, three times since I've, while I've lived here in Mackay. So we're probably just gonna start the morning in some shallow bays, throwing some top water while we've got some low light. Um, might be a bit overcast too. Then we'll probably head up into some tree lines. Uh, there's a lot of trees on this dam. Throw some jerk baits, throw some minnows. Just have a bit of a look around, uh, sound around, and just try to find some fish. Try and nut out what they're after pretty quickly. Um, I want to start shallow, shallow double clutch. See if I can get them to rise to it. And if they don't rise to this, I'll chuck on an um, EXDR and get it down, down level with them. But I'll just tie on the shallow first because I don't want to throw something too deep that's going to be level with them and spook them. I want to see if they'll rise to it first. And then I'll change it up if I can't get them to come up. And then one's just behind us. There's definitely not as many, like, not even on a weed bed, it's 15 foot. Eee, fishy, 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 fishy. Where's my voice? Been on the water for a couple of hours now. Uh, not much happening, we haven't even seen one. Pushed up shallow, seeing if we could try a sight cast one, but couldn't even spot one. We're gonna keep heading up the creek now, try to push our way up until we can try to find some fish up there. If not, we might uh, change tactics and chase some sooties in the dam. Um, focus on Barra first, but we'll see how we go and we'll take it as it comes. <coughs> Not ideal. We're just making our way up this little creek here. We've had, a, we've had a bit of rain lately, so I'm hoping at the top of this we're gonna get some running water. Hopefully we get some sooties, hopefully another barra um, up under it. We'll probably go over to a minnow, something that sinks, we can sink it under the rapids and go from there. Sorry. Oh. 
little tack up. That can be that can be one of the beauties of these dams around here. Struggled on the barrow this morning, missed a couple on top water, but come up here into these little creeks that run in there and just being able to chase sooties, bring, bring a light outfit with you, a couple of small lures and that's all you'll need. Um, and it's just as fun as a barra sometimes when you're in an area like this. We're just heading out now. I'm gonna poke up into a, bar, into a bay and um, try to get that barra. Another one on the other side, not as big as this one, but I think it's got more weed. She's um, nothing to boast about, but it's a little fella on top water. No giant, some of the ones in here would eat this one, but um, it just shows how good the stocking is around this, this area. Heaps of fish like this up in these flats. We've missed a few today. It's good to get one to stick. Little popper on just a weed flat. It's still fun. One hook him, get him back and try to get another one. Top water. Do one more cast. Go find another bay. So we've just gotten up to the back of the dam here. We've got a big weed bed here and some moss that's overlaying the top of the water. You can't even see into the water where, um, where we're casting. So I've just got the frog back on, the kicker curly big. And I'm just launching it over the top and just working it over the top of this bed. Hopefully barrel will come up, we'll be able to see them boil underneath, underneath it. Hopefully one buff's underneath it and uh, we hook up and uh, we'll see how we go. We'll... Working the frog across the top. They're not big fish, but there's a few of them in there. It's a fish on top water, which makes it all that much better. another one out of that little shallow moss on the frog just using a slow wind until we see the fish behind it bow waving and then we're just pausing it on the spot and um, starting to give it some small twitches before we pull it out of the weed So that's us done for the barra. Uh, yesterday, the day before that, we got a couple at Kinchin. It was good fun there. Timber on the other hand today gave us a bit of a touch up. No big fish. Uh, we caught a handful of little fish up in the shallows on poppers and done some cool stuff on frogs too. So that was pretty good. Barra nonetheless the size, they're always fun. My first time using the new Surtate. 
uh, looks amazing, feels amazing, and it's gonna be a great piece of equipment. So barrel-wise, that's us done. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching.